What's up guys? It's Patricia from TarantulaHeaven.com. I have Miss Spidey right here. Um, my jealous cat is hovering as usual, so she's probably going to mess this video up somehow. Um, today we're talking about my favorite topic. One of my favorite top topics to talk about is do tarantulas, there she is, do tarantulas play with toys. Um, I love talking about this. I love studying this. always all the time it's like oh you're shooting a spider video something about the spiders again let me insert myself into this so that i can be the star typical cat right okay that's how we call her the jealous cat so the thing about tarantulas and toys is like my favorite thing to talk about because first of all it's so controversial like people get so heated over this <laughs> it's like the same thing of like do tarantulas have emotions or can they feel pain discussion um people get so crazy about this um and i like making my own observations about it with like what i've done with spidey and certain experiments that i have with her um, and also, I love it because there's so little known about this area of, I guess, tarantula biology or, or observation and habits. So to me, it's really exciting because, um, and everybody has like their own experiences and opinions. So I think that it's like just an area that we're never going to agree on. Um, but we're always going to be like observing weird stuff that tarantulas do. So I really love talking about this. And like one of the things that I never really thought would happen when I got a tarantula was that noticing how weird and quirky they are. Like if you observe a tarantula over a period of time and really get to know them, know them, like you will just be very weirded out, but also amazed at the weird stuff that they do. Like that's why, you know, I started putting different things in Spidey's tank just to see how she would interact with them. And like, I'm so glad I started doing that because I've noticed so many amazing things that she does and about her behavior and weird habits that she likes to do that, um, I don't know, I encourage tarantula owners to do this. Now I will say that if you're gonna be putting things in your tarantula's tank as little experiments or toys or whatever, they have to be clean. So don't put anything in there that has come in contact with like chemicals or anything like that. So make sure you clean things off. And they also have to be safe. So nothing with like pointy or sharp edges. So you wanna choose things that are pretty lightweight, pretty small, not really much bigger than them. Um, things that they will be able to handle and aren't going to be a risk to them. So I'm gonna share my experiences and I realize that this is not everybody's experience. We all have tarantulas that do like different things that are just weird. But um, my whole thing kind of started with, um, well, when I first got her, I noticed that she like hated having decorative plants in her tank. So she like ripped them up, she trampled them. So she didn't have plants for a while. I do have fake plants in there right now. And she's kind of left them alone. There's a lot of webbing on them, but that's really it. So that's good. But like her first real toy was um, a little bottle cap. And I think I saw somebody else do this. Um, and I would notice that she would, occasionally roll it across her tank or like move it around sometimes she would like um fill it up with dirt sometimes she would sit in it <laughs> sometimes she would um she would like um turn it upright um just really weird stuff and so then i started to think about what else could i give her and so then the ping pong ball came along and that was one of the funniest and best things that i've done in her tank because um she will ignore it for months or just ignore anything in her tank for months and then all of a sudden become like very obsessed with it. So I've seen Spidey like roll her ball around. Um, one time I even caught her planking on it, which was like a, very strange and really made me question like, what is a tarantula? Like what? <laughs> it's just so weird to see your tarantula like doing like a Superman on top of a ping pong ball. And I don't know, there's certain theories about that. Like maybe she thought it was an egg sack you know or something like that maybe because occasionally I do kind of see her like wrapping her legs around it and cuddling it not very often but it does still happen sometimes so maybe it's some sort of like instinctual thing that's happening for her but so I've seen her do some weird stuff with the ping pong ball and I've also seen her um, and this kind of goes into the discussion about tarantula intelligence too I have seen her take the bottle cap turn it over so that you know it's the concave side um i've seen her 
put the ball right in the ping pong in the um, bottle cap and and then try to like it's like stacking it takes some sort of intelligence to stack objects on top of each other in a way like that right like am i wrong <laughs> and then she would like use it to climb and I, that stuff that's when i start to really think about like what do we really know about these creatures because this is a playful activity and she's using these objects in a way that is actually seems very strategic so i don't know the other thing that she really likes doing is putting her ping pong ball in her water dish don't ask the water dish is a current obsession um so that's the ping pong ball but she's done a lot of weird other playful things too um and some of them are like really precious um one of my other fond memories of spidey is when i gave her a little white teacup had nothing in it um, was a teacup I wasn't using so I put it in her tank it was pretty small like a very dainty teacup and she ignored this thing for months as many of her toys ignored it for months didn't care about it and then one day I see her moving dirt into the teacup she spent all day filling this thing up with dirt and I was like why is she doing this and it turns out that she was actually making a little bed for herself because later that night I saw her laying in it for hours and it was just so cute and like I'm just like I can't make this up like what what do we not know about spiders and like their weird activity it's just I don't know it's really fascinating to me so I continuously just put different objects in her tank not very often because I do know that you know tarantulas get stressed out really easily and continuously introducing things into her tank um, in a short period of time is not really good. It's very stressful for her. Um, so I do this like every few months. Um, in the past, I had a um, like a spider decoration and uh, she didn't like that. She ended up burying its head, only its head. And so I took that out. And then um, her latest toy that she didn't like was a little pink squishy bunny. Um, it was like rubber. Um, and she liked to throw dirt on it. She liked to dig ditches and then push it in the ditch. She tried to bury it once. Um, so that's not in her tank anymore. So right now she only, the only toy she has is um, uh, her Jarlin. Her, I think her bottle cap, her bottle cap is still in there. It's just buried right now. Um, nowhere to be seen. And she still has her ping pong ball. Um, and the rest that's in her tank is just plant decorations, a log, she's got a clear dome that she likes to sit in sometimes, and then her water dish. Um, so I haven't introduced any new toys in there for a while. Um, I've seen her playing with the ping pong ball a little bit. Um, I'm thinking about introducing little marbles in there to see what she does, because I've never seen her interact with like a smaller ball. Um, so I'm not sure, I really don't know what's gonna happen. Um, she's actually due for a tank cleaning soon so I'm going to probably rearrange things and give her something new but I don't know I mean to answer the question of will your tarantula play with things I don't know if what I could call what Spidey does with her ping pong ball or the other things I've given her playing I don't know if she's um, just doing this out of just random instinctual drives or if she's actually enjoying herself I really don't know but some of the stuff that she's done especially like the stacking um, incident really makes me think um, that we have so much more studying to do and much more observing to do when it comes to tarantula behavior and the, the drives that they have. It's just really interesting to me. But I know every tarantula is different, so I'm sure that you have also noticed some strange things about your tarantula. Maybe you have your own stories about things that they've done with objects in their enclosures. Um, if you did, I'd love to hear it. Um, this is the part of tarantula observation that I get very excited about and I just love learning about. Um, so share in a comment below, please. Um, and let me know what you think about tarantulas playing with things. Um, what do you think they're doing? Do you think they're actually playing or do you think that they're just, I don't know, doing random things um, that just look like play? Um, but anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed my Spidey stories and pictures. Um, I wish I had more of this stuff on video, but I don't. But 
I do have photographic proof, um, and you can just only imagine how strange it is to watch your tarantula doing these things. <laughs> but anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you'd like to get more of information like this or more theories and observations like this, you can either subscribe to the video or you can sign up for my weekly newsletter. It comes out every Tuesday, and I'm going to leave that link in the description below. Anyway, I hope you guys have a great week, and I will catch you next time. Thanks. Bye.